Well, Pete, about halfway through this regular season, as you start to evaluate things, obviously there's stats and there's a record to look at, but also a lot of heavy lifting with the schedule, back-to-backs, seven of those, a lot of Eastern travel. How do you evaluate where this team has been? Well, you know, I, I think we're the best way to word it is we're a work in progress, uh, but heading in the right direction. Uh, you're right, we've had a lot of things stacked against us. Uh, from an injury front, we've been relatively healthy up right. until recently, uh, but our travel, uh, the schedule, the layout of the schedule has been very tough. And I think uh, with the way the, the All-Star game and the break uh, was worked into the schedule this year, uh, I think right now we've played as many or more than anybody in the league game. Right. So, you know, it, it's been uh, it's been tough from that point, but uh, I like uh, how our game has trended. You know, we, we started slowly, uh, and I think every week we're getting a little bit better. Our special teams are in a great place. Um, we've got a few things we've got to clean up, but uh, I like the direction we're going. Since you mentioned the upcoming All-Star break and then the, the mandated five days off for your team, I think it's a total of almost 10 straight days without a game. Yeah. I, it seems like a good thing. Is there a counter side to that as well, too, of having to, to stop and start your season? Yeah. Well, for sure, the counter side is, is what we've been going through right now. You know, you, you pay the price for those 10 days off. Uh, like consistency, is that what you're saying? No, in December, oh. you know, with our schedule. Got it. They're jamming games in, Got it. in order to give you that opportunity. Right. So, okay. Um, you know, I don't think there's ever a, a, a bad thing about days off, um, you know, especially in the middle of the season. Uh, but maybe, you know, the number of days, I think, uh, puts the rest of the schedule in a place where, you know, you're really starting to, to tax the players. So we'll take it. Uh, I know the guys are, are looking forward to it, and we've got some important games up until then. If there's something that you and the coaching staff have emphasized the most this season with the team, Am I, am I wrong to say maybe it's just team defense? Is that, has well, that been your primary focus so far? Well, I think we came out of training camp and we recognized, you know, we've got a unique opportunity here with two Norris Trophy winners, right. the way our defense was built. We wanted to be able to use that. So we started out, you know, the messaging was how can we best utilize our strengths? And, and that was getting our D involved and, and we talked a lot about the offensive side of the game, and, and we've generated a lot of offense. I think if you look at the analytics, chances created, shots, uh, you know, our goal scoring, all those things are in a good place. So we started there, and then you know, as we got 15, 20 games in, you know, we realized we had to, to, to be better defensively uh, and keep that offense. So I think that's been the concentration lately, and I think we've done a better job of walking that line lately. As you look at Eric Carlson, we do this interview, he's on an 11-game point streak uh, at this juncture. Obviously, that wasn't the same story of the start of his season. Just curious from your observation, him as a person, how he's handled that. Um, has he been any different? Has he been the same guy all along? And, and maybe was there something that just got the wheels turning for him? Well, you know, one, I, I can't tell you how impressed I've been with him as a person uh, and as a teammate and, and the fact that uh, even when he was going through the tough start uh, and the team was going through the tough start, he, he, always, he always had a good handle on it, a good appreciation. He knew he was going to be able to work his way out of it, a real confidence to himself that, that he was going to come out the other side and our team would too. So, you know, his, his composure, I think, through it all has been exceptional, um, you know. He hasn't changed anything. I think, uh, you know, at his lowest point, uh, even when we dove into the analytics with him, all his, all his numbers were in good places. Shot generation, chances, all those things just wasn't going in. And uh, I think uh, he stuck with it, and, and now he's getting rewarded. I think our team play has helped uh, too. We've, we've tightened that up, and I think that's helped his game. And he's also recognized how to, how to fit in with our group and how we want to play, which is a little different than he played in Ottawa. So you're an advanced stats guy now. <laughs> I don't know about that. No, I, I, don't, I don't want that label. But. I hear you. That's why I asked it. Yeah. Um, hey, you know, Joe Thornton in a kind of third-line center role, I, I almost hesitate to say it that way because it's never been said about him in his NHL career, but he's been so productive. He says he loves playing with Marcus Sorensen. And he's playing a couple less minutes, I think, on average this season than in years prior. That being said, is it satisfying for you and the coaching staff to know that 
you have found for him almost an ideal role where, you know, coming back still from the knee injuries, that he can be successful and thrive? For sure. You know, one, it shows you his character and his leadership that he's willing to accept whatever role uh, in order to help us right. win. And that's genuine. It's, uh, it's unbelievable for me, you know, a guy with his kind of career numbers, his career, right. what he's done you know, has so willingly stepped up and said, hey, wherever you need me, however many minutes you need me, uh, just let me know. Yeah. Uh, and and, that, and that's, that is rare for, for guys with his type of resume. So yeah. speaks to his character. Um, you know, is he our third line center? I think, uh, you know, on paper right now, maybe. But, you know, I still think when he gets healthy and back to where he is, he's capable of being a one-two again. I think he's still got that game in him, and I think he's getting better every week. He's... He's had some minor setbacks with different things that aren't related to the knee. Uh, you know, that really has been some bad luck for him, and he's played through them. This guy has, has a higher pain tolerance than any human I know. It's unbelievable what he, what he plays through. And uh, so, you know, I think there's some periphery stuff going on uh, with him, you know, even on a nightly basis with mm -hmm. us that he's still dealing with. Uh, but I think he's going to come out the other end of it here. I think that 10-day break is going to help him as much as anybody. And we were pushing for him to be an all-star, but I also understand his stance, too, of the body can use the rest, yeah, all got, of it that he can get. He's you got know? tickets booked to Hawaii, I think. And <laughs> he, 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 when you talk to him, he, he's been there, done that with the all-star game. So a few I think, times. Yeah, <laughs> a few times.